So today we're just talking about some trailer winches for your boat. Now remember that not everyone in the family is as strong as you are, so it's really important to get the appropriate size winch for your size boat. Also safety is really key. So when someone's winding the, winch, uh, winding the handle of the winch, it's really important that you hear a nice clicking noise. That means that the winch pawl is in place here and that if you stop winding, it's not going to go flying off the end of the trailer. We have a few different types of material on winches these days. We have the good old galvanised wire rope, we have a synthetic type spectra type rope, and we also have straps. They're really designed for different applications, uh, but my favourite really are the strap, are the, uh, the synthetic ropes. Unlike the galvanised wire rope, they don't splinter, uh, so you don't get things stuck in your fingers or your hands as you're trying to retrieve something. Really long lasting, really strong and durable, uh, and of course they don't rust. So the other thing to keep in mind when you're uh, buying a winch for your trailer is what sort of ratio you want to use. This particular winch has got two different speed ratios. That's a one to one direct type ratio and that's a five to one ratio. So when you're first bringing the boat onto the trailer, the direct drive is often very quick, but you'll find it difficult to actually pull the, the boat up for the last little bit. So remove the handle off that, put it onto the five to one ratio and complete the last little bit. There is also a three speed winch, very similar to that other guy, but it has three different speeds. So for a bigger boat, it also gives you a 10 to one speed ratio for the last effort again, to make it easy to get the boat up to where it needs to be.